Good morning, fellow Malaysians. This is Matthias Chang from Future Fast Forward. In today's address, I will review more documents that will spotlight on the criminality of what MDB, Joe Low, and those culprits conniving and covering up in Amno. And then later, I'll be very blunt, point blank, to warn Malaysian citizens, especially my fellow Bumimutra citizens, the danger in which we are facing if the current regime is allowed to retain power and carry on the evil ways. The devastation will be terrible and complete. Your future hangs on the balance of 9th May 218. Now before I proceed, let me tell all of you, and as Tun Mahathir has often said when he was a Prime Minister, Malayu Muda Lupa. But I will add on to say, Bukan Melayu sahaja Muda lupa Tapi Tiap-tiap kaum China, India, Melayu Dan lain-lain Semua Muda lupa Why? Because We forgot That sometimes We need to pause Sit back And Like you know A film Roll backwards It's a fast forward Roll backwards And watch the pantomime, the criminal pantomime that was shown since 215. Now, I've uploaded all these documents to my website, right, via PDF, okay? So that after this address, next to my website, the, uh, the two things are like the video and the documents that are side by side, okay? Now, to illustrate what I'm going to say, I will show to you the documents in front of you in this video address. But for future reference, go to the website where I've uploaded the documents which I'm showing to you. First and foremost, you remember this? Star Online. Amno Youth and Jolo Trick Bombs or one MDB. You see, I'm going to be very blunt, eh? no hose barred. In this report, you know what Jolo is doing? Jolo is tickling the ass of Amno. In particular, Amno Youth and Kylie. Tickling the ass. And this Tina Kwai has the audacity. Listen carefully here. His arrogance. On 14 14th April 2005, has the audacity and the arrogance to literally spit in the face of our fellow Malay citizens, grandstanding, and say, I'll take you on, you Bumiputra, you Amno. Now, so let's pause, right? Despite this challenge. Spitting in our face, our fellow citizens. I'm, I'm, I can't be bothered about Amno, right? But his stance was to belittle, humiliate, and tickle our fellow citizens in Malaysia. Let me read to you. It says here, Amno Youth has called for detailed probe into the involvement of businessman Low Tech Joe. In Malaysia, Devon Braham, after the letter called the Wings leaders a bunch of spin masters. So he's accusing Amno directly, you know. You're a bunch of spin masters, don't talk cock and bull. Okay? And then he goes on to say this Joe Lo had hit out at Amno Youth during a recent interview with magazine Euro Money. Criticizing them for trying to pin what MDB's fail on him. There seems to be a very, very coordinated attempt to say 
This young China man, it's all his fault. He caused the failure of MDB, and apparently, he advised the PM, and everything he screwed up now. It's just crazy. And these AMLO guys are spin masters. You know, all this sort of nonsense he was good at saying in the report. In a tweet on Tuesday, Kylie said investigations into what MDB should be hastened, voicing Amno Yu's support for a detailed inquiry into Joe Lowe's role. And then, in check, uh, something to Idila of Amno Youth, right? Say this I hope the audit on what MDB can be carried out transparently and without protecting anyone's interests. If Joro is found guilty of wrongdoing, action must be taken. There's no need to verify Abno leaders just to save your own neck. He accused, right, Joro of saving his own neck. Now, it's very clear, all right, it's very clear that Abno youth, okay, has demanded, uh, demanded investigate on Jolo. And Jolo says, don't spin, la, don't blame me, blah, blah, blah. I took the challenge. So let's pause here. Why to today, no investigation to Jolo? Hmm? I'll go on to show later that he's connected to Najib. But of course, the great traitor, the China Kwai, Yala China Kwai, Tang Sin Kiao DP, said he reiterated all above his statement on the publication of the PAC report on 7th April 2016. Oh, there's no evidence of wrongdoing. It's unfair to pronounce the guilt of Najib, but there's no evidence. That's what he said, huh? Hmm? All right. My question is, right, was there anyone or any organization that's actually interviewed Joe Lo personally before them as I was interrogated by the police? Hmm? Did anyone, has anyone, be it AG, MACC, or the police come up with official statement that Joe Lo was interviewed by them? I can't find any. And this was a demand by Amu Youth Kalodina, Kalodina, Kairi Jabulin. And Amu Youth, he must be investigated. Okay? If Jones found guilty of wrongdoing, action must be taken. So, how come no action taken? Instead, whitewash. Instead, whitewash. So, this first evidence to show, alright, that Jolo is and has. Tickle the ass of Amno, humiliated, ridiculed. See the arrogance? And yet, to today, Joe Law, this arch criminal who denied any involvement, but the OJ says he's up to his eyeballs, sizing money hmm, to his own pockets. Now, bear that in mind. Huh? There was a mediation between one MDB and Abu Dhabi, I pick. And the Minister of Finance, the second Minister of Finance says, our arbitration in London, we will win hands down. Because we paid off ABBA, a subsidiary of I pick, Abu Dhabi Investment Fund. The money was paid to ABBA. British Virgin Island, BVI. No problem, we can all fight, we will win. X billions amount was paid to ABBA BVI. So much for you, right? And yet, after a few months, Najib, Mr. Finance, what and to be surrendered and count out to ABBA and IPIC of Abu Dhabi and paid the same sum that was paid to ABBA BVI. And we had no money, we paid in two installments. <laughs> okay? And then, I picked was release of his guarantee 
for the amount, okay, that was due and owing. Now, no one has a question that Tan Sin Kiao, the traitor, or all the police, MACC, AG, AMNO. Now they had paid double up. They paid off IPIC, Abu Dhabi Investment Fund. Don't ask me, what happened to the money that was paid to ABA, BVI? Huh? So he ran Why pay double? So, to today, no question. Where did the money go? And then court says, right? Court of Appeal says, we did you should notice what's going on. Okay? In the Court of Appeal. But the Court of Appeal decided to ignore the country paid double to settle the arbitration. Consent, huh? Consent award. Like the consent judgment by Riza Aziz to guarantee the repayment of money taken from one MDB used and applied to other things and allow DOJ has whacked them. So why has no one asked the question, where has the money gone? And people dare come with this insult from this China Kuai. Now let's think carefully here to all the Bumbu Trust and Malay Muslims, sir, for citizens. Do you think Tang Sin Kiao is doing a big favor to you, my fellow citizens, by saying, Najib is clean, no evidence. In fact, he has done more harm to my fellow Malays citizens by making the utter rubbish because he has thereby, thereby added insult to injury to the Malay community. I think it's very clever. He has integrity. You know, he wants to go on evidence. Hey, you're not a lawyer. Do you ask any independent lawyer to review the evidence? As a deputy chairman, and I ask him very clearly now, and every member of PC, who wrote the PC report? Did all of you together, members uh, of PC, wrote the report yourself? Or was someone else who wrote the report, gave to you to review, and you signed it? Two different things, sir. Okay. Now let's move on. Okay, so this one, huh? he say, I'm no spin masters, blaming this China man, this China Kwai. I will show to you this China Kwai is very mischievous, guilty as hell. Okay, then, this is the report of DOJ. Alright? Now, it's a very long report. Okay, it is dated. January 17, 218. But the key parts about the criminality of one MDB is at page 9. If I may read to you, right? Okay. Talking about the action taken by the other states, right? DOJ, FBI, and the anti money laundering unit or division of DOJ. It says here civil for future has also been critical to the success of the cryptocurrency asset recovery initiative which has seized which has sorry which has seized or restrained 3.5 billion US dollars worth of corruption proceeds to date and has filed complaints seeking the restraint of assets in a range of high profile matters this includes Action seeking to recover more than 1.7 billion US dollars in assets associated with Malaysian Sovereign Wealth Fund. In the Malaysian matter, page, page 9 of the reporter, the largest single action ever brought, ever brought under the initiative. The department filed a complaint in 216 to forfeit and recover assets associated with an international conspiracy to launder more than 4.5 billion US dollars stolen from the country's sovereign wealth fund. 
known as One Malaysia Development Fund or One MDB. The Malaysian government created One MDB to promote economic development through international partnerships and foreign direct investment, with the ultimate goal of improving the lives of the Malaysian people. However, corrupt One MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. And it goes on. Last paragraph at page 9 uh, is uploaded in my website. Between 2009 and 2015, those corrupt officials and their associates took more than 4.5 billion from the development fund in four phases. These funds were laundered through a complex web of opaque transactions and fraudulent shell companies with bank accounts in countries around the world, including Switzerland, Singapore, Luxembourg, and the United States. The funds were then used to purchase approximately 1.7 billion in assets that the department seeks to recover, including 261 million, 250 foot yacht equanimity, a 35 million jet, masterpieces by Van Gogh, Picasso and Monet, and a motion picture company that, had, that used the funds to finance, among other things, the production of the films, The World of Wall Street, Daddy's Home, and Dumb and Dumber 2. Okay? LARS and the US Attorney General's Office in Los Angeles filed civil complaints targeting assets that, according to court documents, were misappropriated and diverted by Malaysian officials and their associates from what MDB. In 2217, the department announced additional steps to forfeit and recover assets, bringing the total assets subject to forfeit, in this case, to more than 1.7 billion US dollars. If the United States is successful in court, we will forfeit this more than 1.7 billion in property, liquidate it, and ultimately return as much as possible to the citizens of Malaysia. You hear that? Because our institutions are supposed to enforce and tank up crooks and criminals didn't do anything. DOJ has done all this work for us. And the last paragraph is in January 218, eh? says that, right? After they have seized the properties, the assets, liquidated them, the money will be returned to Malaysia, to our people. Therefore, Najib cannot remain in power. There are a bunch of officials, he says here, the corrupt officials. So do you think DOJ will return to them? The DOJ will only return the money to us if there's a new government. Clean. Do you understand that? If other countries take the effort, okay, to help us and get our money back, we're going to sit pretty, wear khaki, and do nothing. We have to rise up, overcome our fear, and say, enough is enough. Get on with it. Don't talk anymore. Go out and work and campaign. Door to door. Get everyone right, aroused up and say, enough is enough. We want our money back. Tangkap Jolo, the line line. Okay, this is very important. So, this is right. The statement from DOJ. Okay. Then, there's some parts of the very important which I want to highlight to you. You see, every time when, it, when for the jurisdictions, Swiss authorities, Singapore, USA, whatever, our police investigating authorities says, oh, they did not request us for help. Neither did we ask for help. Oh, they did request for help. We agreed, MLA, Mutual Legal Assistance, huh? by AG himself, but no follow through. In my last address, Singapore contacted foreign jurisdictions, give and take two way, 
and then wipe those criminal bastards in Singapore. Close up banks. Okay? And one of the key Swiss bankers says, right? He tipped the authorities. He knew Jolo was the owner of the account. He misrepresented. It was one Mr. Tan. He went to jail, I understand. And this guy, Jolo, just said, I'm not involved. Huh? In 205. Now he's come out. Proceeds come out. That criminal China Kwai is up to his eyeball in shit and crying. What else you want some more, huh? Can we let this Sina Kwai get away with it? Tell me. He has thrown a challenge and say, right, to you fellas, I'm no. You Malays, nah. It's not racial. Huh? If it's an Indian, I would say the same thing. If it's a Malay, I would say the same thing. But he's a China Kwai. And he said later, I'll show to you, he will come back to Malaysia to face music. Nah. Okay. Now, DJ says that it's an indirect slap to Malaysia. Page 11. Evidence collection involving foreign entities. The assistance of our interagency and international partners is an important element of the department's success in its anti money laundering efforts. Because money often moves across multiple countries in the global economy, US law enforcement depends on the cooperation of foreign counterparts to aggressively investigate money laundering cases touching the United States. Domestic and international law enforcement partners must work together to obtain evidence and to trace, freeze, and seize assets wherever they are located. The ability to pursue investigative leads in transnational criminal investigation and terrorist financing cases using foreign bank records is vital to successful anti-money laundering efforts on an international stage. You see? This paragraph. Yet, we have the biggest kleptocracy in the world our authorities, enforcement authorities, the police, MACC, AG, says all the time, well, there's no case, there's no conviction, there's no investigation in the other jurisdiction that tied the criminality. Huh? Singapore is happening, Swiss is happening, US is happening, but we are blind. See no evil, talk no evil, hear no evil. You know? This is going on, isn't it? This is an insult. They've already captured 1.7 billion worth of assets and will return the money to us. On their own initiative, they ask for help. And when they captured the yacht equanimity, the ICB says, right, they never sought our help. Did you offer your help? When the masterminds of the crime is here, right? Evidence from FBI. Joe Lo used WeChat to tell the captain to hide the yacht. What else do you want some more, huh? And this Tan Sin Kiao recently gave a statement. My integrity, my God, as if he's so pure, he's a virgin. He can't convict. It's not for you to convict, okay? PC is a, is a parliamentary investigative agency. You have no power of prosecution. It's for the police, MACC. And yet, with that opportunity, do you call the, the Prime Minister to testify? Do you call Jolo to testify? You did not, did you? Because you have no balls. You have no balls. Okay. Now, let's say this. Isn't this a beautiful picture? Hello. That's in Kiao. I'm no Karude. Hey, who's in the yacht with the PM family and the Prince Turkey? The Saudi Arabian bastard criminal arrested now by Crown Prince Salman. And who is down below? Huh? With Risa Aziz on World Wall Street? No connection, no implication. 
you numbskull. Okay. Now, let me now go to the press statement made by Joe Lo. This is in the 215 uh, by Joe Lo to Euro Money. Okay? I have downloaded this. Euro Money, yeah? sorry, it's bigger for you. Euro Money. Jolo says, in so, Malaysian tycoon denies role in what MDB heist of the century. The saga of scandalized Malaysian sovereign wealth fund of MDB has drawn in many high profile figures from the country's establishment. None more so than a flamboyant Hong Kong based tycoon. But a self styled Jolo denies all involvement in what MDB. And now he's ready to publicly defend himself and point the finger of blame on at others. So 25, and the scandal broke out. Oh, Jolo says, I'm innocent. I'm not guilty. It's all this assholes, criminals, in Amno. Not that way he says it's true, but he took the stance, understand? He took the stance. Blame Amno and others. And Kari, Amno youth, and his psychic says, we must investigate. Get into account. If guilty, punish him. Now, he said, I'm not guilty. Why come after me? Chila Kwai! Go after them! So now, we go word for word, that's what he says, okay? This is the report you can download, okay? From the Google, right? Uh, anyway. Just click Euro Money, Joe Low, and 1MDB, it will come out. April 25. These are his actual words, sir. Huh? Okay? Whacking Amno, you know? These are, there are all these guys with their arrows out on me. There seems to be very, very correct attempt to say this young Chinaman is all his fault. He caused the failure of 1MDB and apparently he advised the PM. And everything is screwed up now. So he's saying Amno is accusing him of the failure of 1MDB because Jolo advised the PM. Now, this is funny, you know. This I'm not accusing Jolo, understand? You, China Kwai, you cause all the problems. Without you, China Kwai, without you advising the PM, one MDB will be a success. This, uh, he's saying, I'm not accusing him, no. So, I'm not has identified, right? China Kwai with Najib, the Prime Minister and Finance Minister. Can you see the irony? Can you see the irony of it all? I'm no youth of actually shot Najib down the asshole, okay? Because he's accusing Jolo. Jolo saying, this guy's with the errors ought to be. Why accuse me? It's all my fault. I'm because of the failure of an NDP. I advise PM, okay? He's, he's rebutting, ah, ah. Okay. Making, making fun. Taking the ass of I'm no youth and carry, hey, carry ah. Don't bend backwards, huh? Don't bend downwards, huh? Shame, lah. You know, say, hey, sangat busuk, lah. Shame. Okay. Then he says, no. It is so frustrating. He says, I never face this kind of attack from all directions. It's just crazy. These Amno guys are speed masters. They know all this sort of nonsense. Okay. He's not taking on Amno, no. Huh? Never took me on a Thai train, you know. Huh? Never all these years. He's the guy you up no. He continues. All these guys go round and round and round. And I say, hey guys, it's very simple. Huh? There is a board. Who's a shareholder? Boss, huh? That means he's pointing. Huh? Hey, that's it, girl. Read this, huh? Who is pointing the finger? In a court trial for criminal action, both will be brought in court, huh? A accusing B, B accusing A. Fantastic, yeah? Independent mind, I understand. Tickling the ass. Have you ever seen one statement from anyone that talks about the simple governance of a company? Are you telling me the Prime Minister doesn't make his own decisions? That the Ministry, the Minister of Finance, who is the Prime Minister, and there are only two or three people in the Finance Ministry that sign off on shareholders' resolutions under law. There are none of them. They just sign without evaluating it. 
Then Yerubali commented, Lo is now on the roll now. He then said, Did the people supposed to be responsible for this being king? And what MDP suddenly decide to absorb all their responsibilities and then create this PR campaign with me as the focus of it? No one seemed to ask the question, who is the ultimate decision maker? Or what MDP? No one asked that. No one ever asked about the shareholder's role. And he concludes, there are so many people who get away with ridiculous billions and billions worth of projects. But every single time when there is a political attack, wow, Sonny Jolo is there again. You see, this guy had just confessed, hey, before me, I went to MDB, like a drug, in Amdo, not billions, no. So he lied. Okay, quiet, Amdo. He's accusing Amdo. Tapi when MDB, bila ada masalah, ah, cina kuai. So now, in this statement, hey, Kari, you hear me or not, Kari? Huh? I challenge you, huh? Is this not a statement by Joe Law accusing the Prime Minister Najib lah? Yo, he says so. Huh? Prime Minister, Mister Finance, Office Minister of Finance, you know, sign off. There's a board. He said, are they stupid? So why have you asked this question? You see, when crooks, right, are fighting, they blame each other. And Tyson Kiao, huh? Why did you not call Joe Law? You're not a lawyer. You're not trained to interrogate. Have some humility, lah. Do your job, lah. The first time the chairman was sick, huh? he said, I can't, we can't carry on, no. Proceeds must be, right, with the chairman presence. The second time on presentation of PAC report, chairman also sick, but you talk about yourself to announce to the whole world. You! I said, Kiao! Hmm? So therefore, to Amno and to Malay community, don't think Tan Chen Kiao do you a favor. By his action, he has put the wool over your eyes. And think everything's a hunger dory. When the leadership is rotten to the very core. And I didn't say that it's rotten. He's saying that. Jolo, the mastermind that come please. And he said, right? This is actually what's no, ayo. What MDB is only one of many. He says, right? There are so many other people who get away, who get away with ridiculous billions and billions with the projects. But every single time there seems to be a bigger attack, wow, suddenly Jolo is there again. You see, he's accusing you, I'm no. People are getting away with billions. Kenapa attack him? Because at that time, he's scared. He kept quiet. So he took defend himself and he blamed everybody. Either it's telling the truth, or PM's telling the truth. Either it's lying, or PM's lying. But whatever, they are the same boat, is it? Same boat la, same yacht la, yo. Same yacht, same boat. Huh? Fighting about themselves, understand? So, only solution, both must be tangkap. Interview, brought to court. For a trial. And all the evidence must be brought out in court and fight if they're innocent. Hey, he's not lawyers, lah. Najib, Prime Minister. Jolo is a billionaire. He can get the top lawyers of America, you know. QCs of England. Okay, that's what he says. So, what do you have to say now, you people? What do you have to say? Huh? Okay? And he said, you know, he actually said hmm, that he will, uh, uh, maybe it's this, the other report, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> that he did say that he will come back and fight them. That he will come back and face the consequences. So, has he? None. Can you see now? 
how sad it is. Yet, all these years, I'm telling you, not many China Kwai dare say what I'm saying today. Okay. But there's a disease among the AMLO Malay leaders. Huh? You whip up anger, hatred, mistrust to your fellow Malaysian Chinese who, like other community, the Malay Indians, have toiled for the country, have helped build the country. And we know Singapore, China Kwai, has undermined our economy due to the 97 crisis and others. They are our mortal enemy. An island aircraft carrier for the Zionist Israel eh, who train their pilots and the army. And yet, gives it irony. Some of this is right. You know, bankrupt leaders say, don't trust the Chinese in Malaysia. But trust the Chinese in Singapore. Who all these years, for the time of the, of the of Malaysia, Lee Kuan Yew and all, has f our country, f up our country, undermine, connive to destroy us. And yet, we have pushed them, you know, kow tow to Singapore. And let me tell you one hour something. Huh? This is my analysis, okay? based on facts. Why would China buy a private company, establish an offshore reclaim island for a city that will house 700,000 China people from China? Do you think 700,000 people who will ultimately reside in for a city in that reclaim island will work in Johor? Use Aka Johor Malays, use Aka Ne. Why offshore? Because it will feed Singapore employment. A reservoir of China Kwai from China will service the Singapore economy. What jobs have they created for Johorians? Singapore is no more land. Singapore is difficult to get people to come to Singapore to work. So now there's the ready-made pool, a reservoir of a relatively cheap labor to work for Singapore. Skills. Alright? And all the years, Johor has so sad to Singapore to reclaim land and extend the land. So don't tell me, okay? How great is Singapore? Alright? And how our Prime Minister in the last 10 years have bent backwards to come to Singapore. And these are the Chinese we should be aware of. Okay. And now what happens? China's come in. Because we beg them to build up one MDB and all the borrowings incurred by our country. Of, of balance sheet and on balance sheet. Nothing is free huh, in this world. No free lunches at all. No free lunches. So, can you see now? How sinister is this China Kwai? And yet, see, no one asks another question. See, Najib has sued so many people no, for defamation. Huh? But how come he did not sue Joe Lo for saying him, for putting a finger on no? Hey, who's the shareholder? Who's the prime minister, finance minister, the corporate authority within on MDB? He's saying that, isn't it? He's saying all that. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? These are his actual words. Okay? Oh, I'll give the words now. He's saying this, sir. He's whacking her. PM. Guys, it's very simple. There is a board of directors. Who's the shareholder? Not shareholders, sir. shareholder. PM. Najib. Have you ever seen one statement from anyone that talks about the simple governance of the company? 
the art association, uh, the sole authority. PN, RJ. Are you telling me the Prime Minister doesn't make his own decisions? See, he used the word Prime Minister. Are you? Alamati laka ini. Cina kuai. Si Cina kuai? Cina kah bukan? Huh? I'm not QC, man. You know, Kari. You caused the failure of Anjam NDP. Sebab you advise PN. You Cina kuai, you mislead PN. That's I'm not, no, initially. Try to absorb PN by saying Cina Kwa Young Man, that time was three years old, was advising the Prime Minister, the Finance Minister, and as a result of this, Prime Minister was so stupid to follow the advice, what have we failed? That means I'm no youth. But their statement, by the accusation attack on Jolo, has insulted the old leader. Lah. Young Pang Cina Kwa advised PM, that's why I'm going to be failed. Now Cina Kwa says, right? You chilaka idea, you accuse me of advising PM. Ah. Ah, I'm only 30 years old, less than 30 years old. You think I'm so clever ah, ah, to advise PM. He says, Allah, are you telling me the Prime Minister doesn't know his own decisions? That the Ministry, the Minister of Finance, was the Prime Minister, and there are only two or three people in the Finance Ministry that signed off on shareholders' resolutions under law, that none of them. That just signed without evaluating it? Did the people supposed to be responsible for this making at one MDB suddenly decide to absorb all their responsibilities and accuse him? Alamak, you see? It doesn't count. That's the connection, guy. Huh? He's accusing, lah. Okay? So, either he's telling the truth or lying, or B PM telling the truth or lying, lah. Summer, lah. Ayo, summer. In the same, you know, in English expression, in the same boat, lah. But the, it actually, it's a yacht, lah. Bukan huh? buat sampan, lah. Yacht, lah. Huh? Okay. All right. You see that? Ah. You can't have the cake eat it, lah. Understand? So, to round up my discussion, why I say, if Najib continues to be in power, you're finished. All these years, more so the last 15 years, huh? the rule Malays, right? You might not like what I say, I'm very, very blunt. Because truth is ugly, it's not easy to accept. But as a citizen's country, my fellow brothers and sisters of the Malay community, you are kept in the state of right farmers. I don't care whether you're a settler of El Felda, you remain as a farmer. You remain in the rural area. Disadvantaged. Even though income wise you may have improved from the days of Atum Razak. But compared to other countries and to, uh, compared to the urban workers, you're still lacking behind. From day one, you will make a debt slave. Okay? You sell your produce to harvest to a government agency, they are paid monthly, all right? and then they encourage you to renovate your house, you have no money, you borrow, after you borrow from the government, and what happens? They deduct from your salary or your income. You are forever enslaved, debt slavery, and that system of debt slavery has not extended to your children. Because when you study that the borrow money, how cruel can that be? Before they even earn an income, they're already a debt slave. And you, in Thelna settle, uh, settlements, you are debt slave forever. Okay? And he promised you, Najib. Leaders promise you so many things. All they promise can only be implemented if they have power. And yet, when I say, no one dare take up my challenge. Because my challenge can only be also implemented whoever comes to power. I told you all of you in my previous address. I told the Namaskar Prime Minister and power transform the rural economy, the water highway, agro-industries, 
entrepreneurs. You know, this is what? In the outdated, lah, you know, flood control, irrigation, outdated, concentrate on IT. Hmm? Other people, seeing by such a big vision, to empower the Malay community in the rural area. No more rural poverty, no more rural urban drift, no more rural urban income disparity. I will transform it. You know what they say to me? Not important lah. Love past election. Every promise in every manifesto, manifesto can only be implemented after election. So there's no difference between my vision, my ideas. But the only difference is right, I dare say to my fellow citizens, Malay citizens, right, no more scam on your life, on your livelihood, and on your religion. Islam has been distorted, blasphemed, abused for personal power. And you're kept in a straight jacket, shackled mentally, physically, emotionally. That's why you're so scared of me. You know why? Because if my ideas are accepted by the Malays, and you can accept it, and free yourself, liberate yourself from the shackles of right economic exploitation. Countries all over the world has done that. Empower. Most countries, right, as you know, the economy is in the, in the urban areas. And they, they become strong and independent when they liberate the rural sector. So ask yourself, the people in Pahang, in Canada, in the north, flood every year. The Pahang River was never ever surveyed, all right, or dredged, even before any parents right? Listen carefully here. The Pahang River, the state of Najib, has never been dredged since before independence. What do you expect? There's a flood every year. And he says recently, I will now donate, allocate 500 million to elevate floods. Yet when I told him this is the main problem of the rural community, not only in Baha, other states as well, he says, What? My advisor Omar, while he, not important. Huh? As if flood is old outdated, it's old fashioned. Transformation of the rural economy is old fashioned. Livelihood improvement is old fashioned. Nah. So, my fellow Malays, wake up. Huh? Wake up. And you demand from your leaders. I want to be liberated from debt slavery. I want to be in the forefront to transform my family, my livelihood, and my children and children's livelihood in the future. We will be agro-industrial, entrepreneurs, self-employed, cooperative, no longer just a simple farmer, a bit slightly more income than before. Why must you remain a farmer? Why can't you be upstream as well as downstream? See, even in Felda, the upstream activities, the end products, the oil chemicals, who owns them? Big businessmen, local and foreign, you still remain a farmer. Wake up! That's why leaders don't like me. You know why? They have no balls to challenge me in the debate that I'm right. So they make accuses against me. They talk behind my back. Fine! I have discharged my duty as a citizen. And God is my witness. God is my witness. Truth is on my side because Allah guides me. Allah gives me the strength the integrity and the resilience even if I have to be alone. So I would urge all of you, Malays, especially the Malays, you are the majority here. You are the majority. You survive, the country survive. You die, you degenerate, you become that slave and, and, and not competitive anymore. In the new world, right? 
you have artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, Habis, Habis, I'm telling you. Because you're not competitive. Every year, we produce a platoon, equivalent, platoon of scientists, engineers, whatever you. America, China, India, every year. They produce an army corps, an army corps of scientists, engineers, and technicians. Can you see the difference? Hundreds of thousands of young men motivated to, to excel in all fields, science, engineering, medical. What do we produce every year now? Platoon. You don't understand what's platoon and army corps. Go to the army camp, ask the, the sergeant, don't have to ask the general. Sergeant, Jay, apa makna platoon? Apa makna army corps? There is a difference now. So you want to commit harikiri? Do you want to commit harikiri? My fellow Malays, you better know what I say. I have no choice but to start to provoke, to stimulate an argument. Because it's your, your livelihood, your future. My future is so affected because when you die, we die. We succeed the battle team. We can't pull you. We don't have the critical mass to pull you, understand? Most important, eh? forget about reformacy lah, of institutions. Most important, number one priority for you, economic freedom. Kalau pur sakit, nothing matters again. You see, you will end up as a slave. To conclude, let me tell you a story, okay? The Chinese suffered here under the British. When they came from China, they were coolies huh? with nothing on their backs. And then they have to sign a contract with those Chinese bastards, the rich, to win the mines, you know, as slaves. Huh? Because they have to pay the passage from their salary. And after the day's work, they are brought to the Kong Si, eh? the long house, and chained. And they were only given broth. Eh? And when they asked their families to come over, their wives, their children, en route here, they were raped, molested. And the passage has also been repaid. I have a client who died. Many years ago, he told me, it took him 20 freaking years to pay off the freaking debt. That's a passage for himself and his wife who was raped. That's how he suffered and survived and thrived in the face of challenge. So, I'm not saying the Malaysians suffered, you have suffered too. You put your backs out in the penny fields. How long will you be Raymond farmers? Don't you believe that you can go beyond farming to be agro industrial entrepreneurs? Lands over there! Malay Reserve can be transformed, liberated, in my vision. I'll tell you how to do it on one condition. You get rid of Najib, and I swear to Allah, I'll give a life to transform your economy, your livelihood, and then at last, at long last, Bangsa Malaysia. We'll be very proud Malaysians. We we'll take on the whole world. We can take on the whole world. Believe you me. And to everyone else who say, my vision is right, rubbish, nah. I'm going to tell everyone, right? And believe you me, you better ask your leaders. It's Matai Sen talking cock and bull. History is with me. Economic policy is with me. World Bank is with me on all the statistics. So, I will end here because I don't intend to talk, give any more video address unless it's necessary because if you, the Malay leaders and Bumutra community, cannot see the simple truth, nothing matters in the goddamn world if you are not liberated financially, okay? You remain a debt slave. Then, like I said before, the only time we have a solution is cleansing fire by Allah. Cleansing fire!
to purify our mind, heart, and soul and learn to follow the arahat of Allah properly. It's a simple choice. You go with evil or you strive to follow, implement, and live by the rules, the teachings of Allah. No in between, eh? that's simple. Black and white, you choose. No gray, no pink. It's black, evil, or the path of purity, truth, and justice. I therefore end again once more. Surrender to the will of Allah completely, eh? unconditionally. Have absolute faith that He will protect us, defend us, and guide us under all circumstances and liberate us from that bloody filthy evil that's inside our country. Have that faith. Truth is the weapon, faith is our shield. So, my fellow citizens, let's be united, march to the glory of the Promised Land, and let's be one together. Simple choice. Black or white. Slavery or liberation from that slavery. With that, I thank you for your attention and I bless all of you.